Let's actually start with the tropics because I do want to update you on what's the latest the National Hurricane Center has been tracking. We have two areas of disturbed weather, one in the eastern Atlantic, another in the Gulf of Mexico with very low potentials of development. So that's going to be something that we'll track through parts of next week as well, just to see if anything else can further happen with that. But right over the central tropical Atlantic, this X, this orange X you see here, that's an area of low pressure, a very disorganized system trying to get together. It has the potential by the middle of next week as it moves into the Caribbean to possibly become a tropical depression. So this is actually going to be the one that we're really tracking through uh, not only the weekend, but past Labor Day and into next week. And of course, we'll be here in the Weather Center to keep you updated, especially as we get closer to the peak of hurricane season, which is officially statistically on September 10th. But as mentioned, when the season does kind of climb its way through September, that is when we have and historically the most amount of that activity and that's something that even spills into October before we gradually see that frequency come down by the end of the season in late November.